Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, I've been thinking about a couple things that, a couple events that are going to be happening uh, in the near future. Um, including the wedding Amber and I are going to be having and the move that's coming up. Well, as of this recording, it's coming up within about a week and a half. For you guys, you, you'll you you'll see a new place within like five-ish days. I don't want to do math right now. Wait. Yeah, five days. But for Amber and I, it's going to be about... I don't want to do math. Nine days. I don't know. Anyway, um, I guess thinking thinking about it kind of made me think about all the stepping stones of life. Not just like when it comes to a good couple or a bond or a friendship or stuff like that. Not not just that. What what about like? Um, a high school diploma or GED, depending on what you get, or your circumstances, or your driver's license, or for some individuals that they're under the right circumstances, like a sweet 16, or when you reach the age 21, or because it opens up a lot more opportunity, um... There are several others, but your first job. <laughs> that was one of the ones that first came to my mind, the first job. I remember my first job, and I will admit it was a really good experience. The only reason I had to stop going to that job is because of the fact that I was moving. And... It was kind of upsetting for me because I had to leave really good circumstances behind. At the time, I was living in a completely different state as well. Not, And that's one of several different milestones that I pretty much moved right after. See, excuse me. Ugh, I don't know why I'm yawning right now. Um, another good example would be... Actually, when I graduated from high school. Literally, two months after graduating from high school, my family moved. Compl to a completely different state. Actually, where I'm living in, where I'm living now, it was a, a different city, but same state of the U.S. Uh, I graduated from high school here. Moved back to my home state in um, Arizona. Uh, and then after about, I think it was like, four years of living there. Moved back here again, but milestones can create a very, very firm sense of accomplishment in someone's mind. Whether this could be either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the person, but for me, it's always been good. It's always been a sense of, I feel so accomplished. I feel so happy that I was able to do that kind of thing, that I was able to achieve this. For other people, it could be a case of, like, school, for example. Uh, for me, that was my mindset. I got to, I, I was able to do it. I was able to 
get my degree. Like that's that's how my mindset was. But other people who get a GED or just a generic degree, um, well, other uh, there's some other people out there who will go, yes, it's over. I don't have to deal with it again, which. That's not 100% true, but at the same time, it is kind of true. But that's, I guess, the negative side of it. You could also have that mindset. Milestones are kind of like a coin. There are two sides of it. You'll flip it. Whichever side you land on is up to you. That's like the only difference. If you have a negative mindset about the situation, it'll land on tails. If you, you have a positive mindset about the situation, it'll land on heads. Kind of thing, I guess. I guess... A lot... A very, very good example of positive versus a negative on mindset is when you first move out on your own. Because it depends on what really caused it. For some people, it could be that they were either kicked out of their place or they were so agitated that by the time they came to that age, they were like, okay, I'm getting the heck out of here. It's an accomplishment, but for, like, a negative reason. Other people could look at it like, all right, I'm moving out. I'm moving on with my life. I'm ready for this. I'm going to miss the past, but I am ready for this. In that sense, it's a very positive thing. It, in a way, it could be, it's, it's a positive mindset, but either way, it is a positive achievement. It's, it's very hard to describe some circumstances when it comes to like how individuals look at it like milestones but at the same time it is very understandable that being said I don't know I'm gonna leave this here how many milestones have you felt like you've crossed in your life for me, there are way too many to count. Um, let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any of the discussion rant videos like this one? Click link on the side of my head right over here. Train Our train will take you over to that stop, which is probably waiting for me to board it in the first place. Um, if it's not quite floating about, why not check the link on this side? It'll give you an idea of what you might like a bit more than this. In the meantime, I'm going to head off and head on the train heading to our next destination, which will come out a couple hours later today. Um, thanks again for watching this video, guys, and we hope to see you all in another one. See you guys later.